hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel so in the last video we saw right how we connected to the uh, you know master and with the slave machine now uh, we will see one more thing one more thing if you see right this is the jenkins slave that we have created right this is the path that we mapped why in the jenkins right if you go to jenkins here where is our jenkins here right so uh, when you created this docker node we map to the this docker node this is a slave we map to this path here in our local right so if you see the folders are here so docker days so it's here and if you go to this place and jenkins so this is for the master so we we did the volume mapping for masters and this jenkins slave okay now what next we want to do let's see so next i have one jenkins files let me copy it first and then we can discuss what is this so let me copy it here jenkins file and paste it in my eclipse okay so let's uh, you know where i will put it i think i can put it in the this google automation here So this is my Jenkins file. Okay, it will Jenkins editor. You can now have it so that you know it will. Uh, you can see it will be colorful and it will be easy to understand and all those things. So um, I accept this. So if you need like this Jenkins file, you know you can just send me an email to my email ID or in the comment section, and I can send you this. So let me close it. And open it again, or maybe I can refresh this project first. Let's see, refresh this project. Now let me open this Jenkins file. Jenkins file is the current editor. Takes a bit of no. Oh, I think we did it right. So, it's warning installing install anyway. Okay, this is still installing. Okay, so we need to restart. Okay, got it. So, let me restart. Okay, it's restarted, right? Hmm. Okay. Okay. See now you can see it nicely. Now, why? What is this Jenkins file, and why? What we are doing it here? Now, when you run the command, like when you create, you know. What we will do, we will make the changes in our project. Like we'll create a new test case, we'll modify the test case, and then we'll push it to the GitHub. That's what we discussed here in this diagram. Uh, this one, right? So we will push it to the GitHub. Then from there, it will go to the Jenkins. Now Jenkins. So we will create a. You know, we'll push the code to the GitHub, and then uh, Jenkins will create the image jenkins will do everything actually it will create the image it will compile the project because every time you are adding some new code new test cases so it needs to be compiled every time and the new image will be uploaded to the docker hub right so jenkins need to know what to do so that's what we are providing in the jenkins file so jenkins will read when you uh, deploy your project to the github then jenkins will read the jenkins file and depending on that it will act so in the Jenkins file, what we are saying, okay, so isn't so the pipeline, okay? So what is this pipeline? I will tell you. So when you go to this Jenkins here, right? And uh, so last time we created one uh, new item, right? So we created a freestyle project. Freestyle project means you are providing your command or whatever from here itself. But when you say pipeline, so you can provide any command here, like say, okay, uh, Docker run or something, and then you say pipeline. Pipeline means it will read the Jenkins file, okay? And then depending on that, it will act. So I'm not doing it right now. Let's go back. We will do it later, but that is the pipeline, okay? So pi this is the this instruction is for the pipeline project that we will create in the Jenkins. So Jenkins will read this. Now you see we have stages here, like one stage, two stages, three stages. What this stage is doing? The first stage is building the jar. So the command will be maven clean package, right? Bat, because we are working in the Windows. If you are working in Mac, you can use SH. So just we are saying, okay, so there is a new code in the GitHub every time. So every time you have to compile the project and when you compile this project, Maven clean package, what it will do? It will create the jar files. 
it will create the jar files in the target folder like the selenium docker jar selenium docker test jar every time whenever there is a change it will create the new jar files and then once the jar file is created what we want to do we want to build the new image okay so we already have one image in the uh, docker hub but this time since there is a change in my code there is a new test cases we need to create a new docker image okay and then once the image is created we want to push it to the docker hub because when you push it to the docker hub here then the in the remote machine where we will pull this image right we will pull the image with the help of jenkins okay we will have everything in the jenkins so jenkins will pull the image and then we can execute it so jenkins will pull the latest image that we are saying so this is our simple jenkins file but now before we proceed much we have to create a github account also because we are going to uh, you know uh, if you want to use this uh, jenkins file how it works we need the github okay so let's create the account in the github so let me see how we can do that so if you go here you go here um let's say github.com let's go here and let's see maybe i have if you don't have account you can go to the sign up and create username email address password and then it will create the account for you but i think i have account let me try if i can log into my account vivek and uh, hmm. so it's saying not the correct password maybe um, just give me a second maybe i can try to find my password okay so let's try to log in again um, to the github account so you you have to create if you don't have and then you just go and log in so what is github github is like uh, you know where we can uh, where we can store our code right where we can it's a type of repository okay source code management okay so now what we have to do first of all we have to create a new repository right saying new so let's create a new repository and this repository name is we'll say uh let me see what other repository that i have so that it has jenkins it has docker and docker runner so maybe or you know what i will do um let me say okay i will create a new and this name i will say selenium selenium docker doc or docker your docker git okay so this is my repository name okay thanks good and this is a public initialize this repository skip this step if you are importing so we are not importing so uh, you can see this is where you can write a long description of your project right so let me see um, Okay, so we have to say selenium, selenium docker git. And so it is available. Okay, selenium docker git is available. It's a public file, so we can create the repository. If you say don't do this also, still you can create the repository. Let's create the repository. We don't want to initialize anything, so we just want to create. Now. We created the repository. Okay, so in this repository now we will keep all our code. Okay, so if you see right, if you are new to the GitHub, okay, get started. So let's say got it. We don't want to got it. Okay, now see this. They have given these instructions which you can use to initialize your project to the GitHub. This is a GitHub. This is in the cloud where you can keep your code and your code is in the local host, right? My code is here in the C path. If I go to these properties, 
this is here in the c users and we have to put this code here in this so for that what we have to do you have to go to the path in your project path in the command prompt okay so what is my project part google automation so let's go to this path here and just copy this so we are learning how we can you know how we can uh, push our code to the uh, github okay so now you have to go to the command prompt just launch it launch it as a administrator maybe so let's go to this path where we have our project and now in this path they have given all the commands here see first is git init what it will do it will just initialize your project with the git so you have to just say git i am it git init so it's saying git is not recognized as an internal okay so why it is saying like this let me see okay friends so i think uh, let me check whether git is installed in my system or not so i will just say git version and it says git is not recognized actually i think i don't have the git so let me download the git and install it quickly so let's say git um, github.com okay let's go to the github.com i think not github.com we have to download it right so git just we have to say git okay git here is the git website okay and then we have to download it for uh, uh, windows okay so let's download it here so downloading is starting okay okay yeah it's starting now here if you see so once it's installed we have to just uh, you know install it and then i think it will work let's see that okay just go to the folder and just install it okay so we use git from git bash only okay we'll we'll just go with our whatever is the default take some more time okay so finish let's close it and again let's see git version close this command prompt and open again cmd okay so now we have it installed now if i go to the path where my project is right we have to go to that part let's go to this path and let's go to this path and then we say get init in it so it's initialized empty git repository in this path so this is this was our first command right in the git let's see here not here not here where is our git 
git is here so git in it so what it does if you go to this path google automation and uh, you refresh this uh, let's see can you see the dot git file here um, let's see what is uh, Okay, see, dot git here is here. So it created one empty uh, like this folder and where there are some objects. So it is just initialized your project, this Eclipse project with the git means we can now, uh, you know, we can, we are ready. We can like uh, uh, commit our code, push our code to the GitHub, but there are some other steps that we have to do. Now they have said, okay, git add. So this we don't, we can just ignore. They are saying git commit. So what happens? First, we have to commit the code. Okay. So, for, sorry, first we have to add. So, let me draw one diagram and I can explain this what is happening here. So, if I open one paint, so one step, two step, three step. So, the first one we are saying git add, right? Then we are saying git commit ceo double mit commit and then we are saying git okay and then i need one big box here let me see so this is our local machine the big box so when you say git add it, it will add the code whatever code the files right the code or files whatever to the staging area so this is our staging area which is in our local only okay when you say the git commit it will just commit the code to the working copy right so whatever uh, sorry, working copy, C -O -P -Y, working copy. so whatever code we have in the staging area whatever added maybe you have 10 files but you added only few files like in the eclipse suppose we have lots of files right source main java but maybe we don't want to add all the code so whatever files we added in the staging area using the git add command and when you say git commit it will go to the working area in the uh, our local machine itself still it's not in the uh, github when you say git push then only it will go to the server github server uh, this is git uh, server so it is committed to the code here for everyone in the cloud so there are three steps git add git commit git push okay so from here to here and from here to here so this is a step and when you say git in it it just initialized git in it is also here in the same place git in it it just initialized your project folder your uh, that it is you can work you can do the git add you can good do, do the git commit and all those things okay so let's add first now what before we add let's see here in the folder right we don't want to add everything if you see this target folder this selenium docker jar and everything so since we will execute this jenkins file from the jenkins right jenkins will read this file and it will execute and it will create its own selenium docker jar and everything because we are making the change in the code every time so we don't need to push these codes in the uh, github jenkins will do it for us okay so when it will take the code from the jenkins uh, from the github and when it will create the image it will just do it for us and it will push the image to the docker hub so we don't need maybe the target folder right so we don't need the target folder now if i go here in the command prompt so let me see first the directory here so in the directory if you see there is a git dot git because this folder is initialized with the git now so it's uh, we can use this for the like commit and all git operations so let me clear the screen now the first thing we will do since we don't now if you see the directory we have everything right if you say git add so you you have to provide either the name of the file but if you say like git add like if i say git add dot it will add everything so there is one more way we can just uh, remove it so let me just do one thing suppose we don't want target right so if i say maven clean maven clean so what it will do it will not compile it will not create the target folder it will just remove it let's see so i say okay maven clean now if i see the directory see the target folder is not there now 
If I go here in the Eclipse, you see the target folder is there, right? Now let's refresh it. Because we we have not said uh, to compile like Maven clean compile or Maven clean package. We just said Maven clean. Okay. So refresh. See the target folder is gone. So this is what we want to commit, right? Now after we did this, we remove the target folder. Now what we can do? Now we can say git. Sorry, let's create this. We can say git add this. So when you say git add dot, it means you want to add all the codes, all the files pre uh, present in the Google Automation folder, right? So let's hit enter. Now what is happening? It added. It's still the code is not in the GitHub. If you go to the GitHub here, so this is the GitHub, right? And if you go here in this, uh, you will let me copy it because we will need this code. Let me copy it to the notepad. So that we can follow this command from here. Okay. And then if you go to the repository, um, so let's go to this repository. Let's go to the home page here. Okay, see the if you go to the Selenium Docker, right? There is some some files are there because we created it uh, some time back. I have created it. I can see all the files. But if I go to the new Selenium Docker uh, Git, there is nothing. Nothing is here. See, because when you say Git add, it only added to the staging area. That is the picture here. See, now our code is in the staging area, still in our local. Now we will say Git commit. When you say git commit, it will put the code to the committed area. Okay, the working copy you can say. So let's say git e o double m i t git commit minus, m. and you can give some like okay first if I first commit or some comment you can give. Okay, first commit. Okay, now if you hit enter, what will happen? Now our code is in the committed section. Okay, now what we can do? Now, first thing is before you, if you take this code here, see. Now, when you say git push, right? When you now we did the git commit. Now, when you say git push, it will put your code to the uh, doc, uh, GitHub. But before that, you have to provide this path, okay? So that it will know the repository path, right? So you have to provide this URL, okay? So the command is git remote add or is in this. So let's copy this. So what we are doing. We are just connecting the GitHub to our local. Okay. So now we can push our code. So now we can copy this. Fail to push some reference GitHub. Okay, because it is okay. So you know when we did the commit that time, it is saying you know we have to provide the username and password. That is the problem. So let me see uh, how we can do that. Right, we have to provide the credentials. Okay, friends. So it is saying okay, Git config your user email name so let's do this here okay so so you have to provide your uh, email that you have with the github dot com and then git config your username what is the username here? Okay, let's see. Um, see uh, Vivek, maybe Vivek. Okay, so our username is Vivek. Maybe if you see here, we can go here. So this is my email ID and uh, 
Okay, let's say we wait. Okay, for now. Now, if I say commit, so now this time, see, it's successful. Now, commit is done. Now, after commit, we have to add repository. You have to provide the path of repository, right? Um, let's see, where is the path of repository? This is the path. Remote origin already exists. Okay, then let's push it then. Sign in with your browser. Hmm. Still, it is asking for this. Okay. Okay, so now this is successful. Actually, you know, it asked uh, for the credentials to verify. So we did that. Now, if I go here and I go to uh, GitHub, right? Let's close it here and go to the GitHub and just refresh it. And then we'll go to this, right? And uh, see, now everything is in the GitHub. So successfully, we pushed our code to the GitHub. So friends, this time, you know, we verified our credentials using uh, some browser, but there is a way we can do using command prompt itself. Maybe we'll discuss that because right now we are not, we don't want to learn GitHub and all, right? Our purpose is to learn Docker. So uh, we are able to successfully commit our code to the GitHub. So that's what we wanted and we did that. So next, let's see what we can do now. Now. we have to um, so in the next video maybe in the next video we will do uh, you know some more operations with the jenkins thank you